Hi everyone. Well, it's the last day of the month. And uh, if you remember, we kind of said, Mona and I, that at the last day of the month, we would continue our Parenting Adult Children, Bite Your Tongue. Okay, so something very important I need to share with you. It's a lot easier to talk about this when you're sitting where I'm sitting. So you're going to have to give me a little bit of uh, slack here because, you know, it all just looks so simple and easy when you're going, yep, I've been there, I've done it, I think I did a great job. Because when you're in it, trying to do it, it's very, very different. But I'm hoping that some of my some of the things I did, you might go, oh my gosh, my goodness, lady, did you do that? Yeah, I really did. Uh, and then some might say, oh, I'm so glad you shared that great idea. So like I say, these are just my thoughts, my ideas, and these are some of the things that I practiced. I have three children and um, they're, they have 40s and uh, they're all in their 40s. <laughs> One's getting really close to 50. But anyway, never mind. Um, yeah, Mona actually came up with this idea. Mona did a video and then after she did a video, we chatted about it and then we thought it'd be really fun to do a collaboration. But Mona's in it. She There's 20 years between us. Maybe I'll be 72 in May and Mona is 51. I'm not sure what her birthday is. <laughs> anyway, we're tw let's just say 20 years apart. And our children are about 20 years apart. So it kind of makes it interesting when we talk about some of these things. And sometimes when I listen, I go, oh, I remember that. I remember being there. I remember thinking this. Or, oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, th first of all, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Uh, from all my regular supporters, thank you guys. I really appreciate you. I know you're kind of on a roller coaster with me lately, but that's just the way life is. So um, yeah, when I get off the ride, I'll let you know. But uh, if you've never been here before, my name is Leedy. I uh, used to say Leedy MC, but I think I was going to say Leedy. And um, yeah, I just do a life channel. And uh, my big thing is that age is all about attitude. Um, yeah, uh, you know, for me, age doesn't come into it. I just look at people's attitudes. Some are old when they're really young and some are young when they're really old. So it's all about attitude. Okay, so last month, I we talked about, of course, that was sort of our first collaboration together about having your young adult children at home. And it was, you know, boundaries and, and room and board. Like, should they pay? I'm gonna link my video that I did last month at the very end so you can go back and check it and then of course please go and check my friend Mona her channel's name is about face with Mona and um, yeah she's it's really interesting to listen to her talk about you know like I say she's in it <laughs> sorry Mona <laughs> anyway I wanted to talk a little bit more about money with our young adult children you know, and I don't think it matters how old we get, that we always want to try to protect our kids and fix things for them and have everything be better for them and all of that. And, you know, for parents who can give, you know, unlimited amounts of monetary um, support to their children, that's great. You know, as long, I guess, as long as their children know that, God forbid, if that isn't there one day, are they going to know how to survive? Do they, have you actually given them the tools and everything to go through rough times and how to figure it out? Well, three adult kids, and I must say that the girls weren't home for very long. They just kind of flew and they did their thing. Uh, the youngest, yes, he was home. Well, he went and then he came back and he went and he came back and, um, this is a cute story. I've already told you what we did about him living at home. That's in my other video. This is about mom's bank, <laughs> mom or dad's bank, or dad's bank. But 
And I think we're experiencing, or you guys are experiencing this a whole lot more than we ever did because everything is so expensive. I mean, how do our young adults get out and, and live on their own? Even if they have jobs, it's so difficult and it's so expensive. But that's no reason for you to be, become their bankers. And if you are going to bankroll them, you should probably give them some parameters on how this works in the real world. And before I go there, I just want to share, remember when they're little, like, of course we love our babies unconditionally, no matter how old they get. Um, but when they're little, I'm thinking what, 13, 14 months, they start to walk, except my, my youngest, he, he was, he started walking real, real, like before he was even one. Anyway, but you know, like they start to walk, right? And they're hanging, they're, they're kind of either hanging on to the coffee table and they're kind of teetering and hanging on to the couch and they're reaching for it. And oh my gosh, and we're so excited. And all of a sudden we go, oh my God, like, you know, uh, do I need a pool noodle to put around the coffee table so they don't hurt themselves? And maybe I'll put a pillow over here and let me make a little track so we don't hurt ourselves, right? We don't want... We don't want them to fall or hurt a fall and hurt themselves. And uh, you know, we reach out and come, you know, come to mom. And and uh, we're, it's just such an exciting time when they get themselves off the floor and they want to take their first little journey of independence <laughs> uh, until dad comes home, right? I mean, I think we all had this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She started to walk today. Come on, honey, walk to mommy, show daddy. And that's it. Like for three days, that kid doesn't get back up off. <laughs> Just, uh, no, not doing it. I'm not walking for dad. Anyway, now let's take that little story over to your young adult living at home. Well, you know what? When you've got that young adult living at home, that's a really good time to make start long before he actually even gets there that you've removed some of the pillows and the pool noodle is off the table. And um, we're not, you know, constantly saying, I have to fix everything for you. This is where we really hope that we can give our kids tools in their little suitcase <laughs> to learn how to navigate life and their journey. And, and there's so many different aspects of it, right? I mean, attitudes and, and interactions and social skills and all of that. But we're talking about mom's bank. And that was the biggest conversation I had. Um, I had a couple of emails and I talked to a couple of younger moms and they, it's the biggest problem is finances, is money. They, uh, well, I mean, worst case scenario, scenario, you've got an adult kid at home that doesn't have a job. I mean, that is a nightmare, and I guess that's something, that's in a whole different video. But we're talking about, um, in this circumstance, I've got a young adult at home, did, who had a job, a good job, but for some, you know, just still paycheck to paycheck. And um, I remember winter was coming on, and he said uh, he needed to uh, borrow $800 because he needed snow tires. And he needed them now. It needed $800 for snow tires. I think I spent $400 on mine, but he had some special snow tires that he definitely needed. And if he didn't have snow tires, he wouldn't be able to get up the hill, he wouldn't be able to get to his job, then he wouldn't be able to make his payments, blah, blah, blah. And I went, wow, you know, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a tough place to be. Kind of a domino effect, right? So, of course, now I'm married to somebody who say, oh, just give them the $800. And I'm going, no, sort of like the room and board thing in my other video. And I went, no, I don't think we can do that. I said, you know what, we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll get back to you. But I'm just going to hand it over. I had to make him think about it a little bit. It didn't just drop out of the sky. You know, it's not just available to you. So... Anyway, so I kind of, you know, okay, we've talked about it. And I said, well, you know what? We're really happy to you know, help you out. We're able to do it. That's not a problem. But I want to put something in place. Um, 
Because, you know, if you had to go to a bank, if we weren't able to give it to you, you're very fortunate that you have parents that can do this for you. But if we couldn't, you'd probably have to go to a bank and you'd have to fill out paper. They're not going to say, oh, well, we know your mama loves you and, you know, you got people that love you, but, you know, we're going to give you this money. No, they need to know a whole bunch of information. You have to sign a piece of paper. You have to set up a payment plan. So that's what I did with them. I um, had a little piece of paper that he, you know, $800, IOU. And also I uh, said, well, you know, what do you think your payment plan is going to be? And kind of, well, you know, I said, well, can you do $100 a paycheck? Because remember, he's already doing the room and board. He said, I can, yeah, that'd be fine. Mom. I said, okay, great. So anyway, so we got that out of the way. I know some of you are shot. You go, really? You do that with your own kid? Absolutely, you should do that with your own kid. Who do you think you, who do you think that young adult's going to meet that's going to just like hand over money without a consequence or something lurking in the background? So it's best that they learn how this works. This is wonderful. This is like teaching your baby to walk. You put the pool noodle around the table and the pillow. You're you're really giving your well, actually, you're giving your kid a life lesson. They they should have had the last two years of, of high school. Anyway, that's another video. So when payday came along, I was so proud of him. He walked in and he handed Bill $200 cash and he paid it back over four paychecks, $200 each time, and it was done. But you know, it was, I think for him, it was, got that off my plate. Thank you very much. And there's no shock. There, there's nothing for him to be surprised about when he gets out in the world. Uh, you know, if you have to do this at home when you're borrowing money, um, he's not going to be shocked when he goes out in the real world and figures all of this out. I mean, it's different if you want to gift your child some money or finances. That's a, that's a different thing. But if we're just going to do life lessons, you're living at home and you need this money to get some snow tires that normally, you know, you should, maybe you should have saved for it, maybe you should have prepared for it, but you didn't. So I know, and you know what? It is the hardest thing you're gonna do as a mom or even a dad, I don't know. Like in, my, in our house, it's easier for me to do and harder for Bill to do. And in other households, it's like impossible for a mom to do, uh, but dad will do it. But you know what? One of you do it. Oh my gosh, what a wonderful life lesson. And not only that, you know, this way you have taught him responsibility. And not only that, I mean, you know what? It was for tires. I don't think I would have lent him money because he wanted to go on a holiday or anything like that. But so make it easy on yourself and, and think of it as probably the best thing you can do for your kid is teaching them to be responsible for themselves. I have three of the most loving caring, bright, intelligent, hardworking adults. And as a parent from where I sit now, not that, not where you guys are, is I often will say, when I take my last breath on this earth, don't forget, I'm a spiritual soul having a human experience. So that's not that bad of a thing that's going to happen to me. But I always say I want to know that my children are totally self-sufficient, that they can look after themselves and their families. And you know, there is, as a parent from where I sit now, oh my gosh, I sit here with such pride and such relief. Are there ups and downs? Absolutely. You know, is their world perfect? I'd like it to be. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't but they are so hardworking and they just, and they're kind and they're generous and they're giving. And you know what? I don't even remember the last time any of them asked me for anything. If anything, they come to us and they go, do you guys need anything? Are you guys okay? Oh my gosh. Imagine if you can start that kind of an attitude and, and that kind of, give your kids that kind of guidance when they're young adults instead of like wow you're going to buy me a car are you going to make the payments have you got a gas card for me um yeah you know uh 
like I say, and the other thing is, do you know what? Like I said, we have lent the money. We have never not been paid back. Not by these three anyway. So I'm really proud of them and I'm really proud of the awesome adults they are now. And I'm really proud of myself that I was able to do that because it was an easier way to do it. Just give it to them. Anyway, guys, take care. Thanks for being here. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And please, a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And don't forget, go and visit Mona. Take care. Bye.